In this video, we're going to have a look at how to add draft posts to a query loop. So that might be perhaps you're an editor on a website and you have a lot of posts that are written and they're in the draft format and you want to be able to access and view them from the front end of the website. What we're going to do then is on the post page, if we scroll down to below the last section, we're going to add a new section in and display the draft posts at the bottom. So to do that, head over to the website. I'm going to add a section. And then in that section, I'm going to add some posts. So I'll just add the standard posts content element. Right, and I'm just going to call this draft so that I know that it's different. And then add a heading. And we'll just call that drafts, right. So, Right, so there we have our drafts in place. And now what we need to do is head over to the website and um, let's go and have a look on the developer portal as to what we can do then to show those elements. So I'm going to head over to Bricks. And when you get to Bricks and you're looking for the developer information, it's not immediately obvious or there's no direct link. So what you do is head down to the bottom of the website and you look for documents. So documentation under help. And then under documentation, you'll see filter developer. And what we're looking for here is posts. And we're looking for the posts, not merge query, but query vars. So uh, that's related posts and so not that one. We're just looking for the, um, there we go, the Bricks post query vars. And that's how you can find it on the Bricks website. And then we're going to be using this filter to create the list of posts that are in the uh, draft format. So what I'm going to do now is head over to the website and I already have a snippet that I've used to display all the posts that you see on this page are displayed using the same um, query vars filter. And you'll see each element there and you'll see that each has this unique ID. So what we need to do is head over to our section here of posts and on posts get the unique ID. And the unique ID is these last three characters, Q-U-R-K-K-A. So once I'm here, I'm just going to then Q-Q-R-K-K-A, uh, I think it was. Q-U-R-K-K-A. Q. Right, just made a copy of that, and then I'm going to copy the statement. So if the element ID is equal to, and we'll paste in the element ID, and then here I'm going to change one of those then to one of the queries then to post status, and this post status we will make draft, and I'm going to delete the other two. So now what will happen is in the element with this ID, it will then display post with a post status of draft. And we'll save that. Right, for that saved, I'm going to head over to the website and refresh. And we should then be getting the posts that are in the draft status. So Q U R K K A. Let's just double check that on the website. So we're going to refresh. And there you have it. There we have our draft posts. And that's how we can display the draft posts. Um, let's go in and have a look at this post. So this is the post in question. I'm going to edit the post. And let's have a look at the post status. And if we look at the post status, you will see that it is in draft mode. If I change this now to publish, so I change it to publish. And with that published, I'm going to head over to the website again. So let's have a look here at the post page and scroll down. And now we just have the one item available to us. And if I change the status here now, switch to draft on his just a. Now when I refresh, we should have his just a down the bottom. So that's how you can save your posts as, as drafts. And 
if we just have a closer look at that filter then it's basically just adding this filter and we've just changed this argument here and we've removed the um, reference to the custom field so if the element id is equal to then the query vars post status equals and that's how we get the result and then in our actual snippet you'll see that we have if that element id is equal to that section element or that uh, post um, unique id then um, and the query was is draft then display the posts and if i go and have a look at that on the page and i inspect this element let's just get that back to desktop view then you will see that if we go to the element just before the post listing, you will see that it has this data script ID of QURKKA, but then also the div ID also is BRXE dash, and then the unique six letter ID. And that's pretty much how you would set that up if you wanted to display um, posts that are in the draft format on the website. And that would apply to any status. So if we wanted to change the status to something else, let's have a look. Uh, at the moment, um, the status, let's say uh, pending review and save as pending. Then what I'm going to do is just go over to the posts and refresh. And now you'll see we only have the one and that is the transmission beamed and we're looking for this particular post so i'm going to head over to my snippet and i'm going to change draft to pending and save the changes and now when we have a look at the posts we now we have the pending post displayed if i wanted to display pending and draft then let's have a look um, so there we're saying post status equal to pending or draft. I'm not sure if that'll work or if we need to have an array. Let's have a look. So there we have it, pending and draft. And all we need to do then is in our snippet, simply put the post status equal to pending or draft. And that's it. So I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.